video is on how to design and build a jack line system. A jack line secures you to the boat so you can't fall off. This can be very critical if you're in rough weather or if you're on watch alone at night. You can make your own jack line very inexpensively and very easily. First, I'm using 4,200 pound test nylon webbing, which I purchased on Amazon for only $17 for a 100 foot roll. In my first version, I didn't want to get too carried away until I've done some thorough testing. So I'm just going to use my dock line cleats and I'm going to just tie using an overhand knot the nylon webbing onto the cleat. You'll notice that by going through the middle and then around the ears, uh, it makes a very secure connection. With the nylon webbing attached to the aft cleat, we will now run up to the bow of the boat and attach it to the bow cleat. Most of the time, jack lines come in a set of two, one for the port and one for the starboard side. Now I'm going to make up the tether. I measured from the center of my chest down to my feet and doubled that and cut a piece of the nylon webbing. And now I find the center of that and I tie a little overhand knot to make a loop which I'll be used to attach the tether to the jack line. And then I have a four inch stainless steel marine carabiner which I will attach to the other two ends. And I'm just going to tie it on temporarily until I'm sure of the length. In addition to the knot, I'm also going to put a little stainless steel butterfly just to make sure that everything stays together during testing. To put it all together, we have to take the jack line off the cleat, put the jack line through the loop that we made in the tether, and then put the jack line back on the cleat. Now it's time to test our new system. While we do want to be able to reach everything, it's more important that it actually will save our lives if should we get washed overboard. As you can see, I am going much too far, and if the boat was heeled over, it would be very easy for me to be underwater, and that would be very bad. So we all have to redesign the system. In this new design, we run the jack line around the mast. This accomplishes several things. First of all, it means that the jack line is much closer to the center line, giving us more distance between us and the water line. Also, because the jack line is running around the mast, when we're standing at the mast to raise, lower, or reef sails, we don't have the jack line underfoot. The downside to this design is that you can't go from the cockpit all the way to the bow of the boat in one continuous motion. In order to get around this, I've made up a second tether, which I will put through the jack line, and then I will take it back and attach it to the mast. Now it's time to do some testing. First, I'm going to go to the mast. I'm going to attach the bow tether in addition to the aft tether, so I have both tethers connected. Now, I feel very secure. I feel like I could do anything, even with both hands, at the mast without any difficulty. Now, we need to find out what would happen under even extreme conditions, so I'm going to see how far overboard I can get. And as you can see, I don't get very far. So I think this is a much better design than my first design. This is a test I did some time ago. You'll notice I'm holding the tether, which I really didn't need to do because I'm used to having metal carabiners attaching the tether to the jack line and they bang along the deck. But now that I have a new design with just loops, I don't need to do that. You'll also notice that I am doing the same test where I have the aft and bow tethers connected and I see how far I can lean out. And in this early test, I had the tethers much too long. I unclip the aft tether and clip it onto the mast and then I head forward. I continue the test by heading back to the cockpit. As I stop off at the mast to switch my tethers, I wanted to see just how long does it take to do and how hard it is and can I do it with just one hand. And it actually turns out to be pretty easy. So I'm pretty happy with this test. Another test I did the other day was that I wanted to prove to myself that I didn't need to hang onto the tether at all, that I could just walk about as normal and the tether would not get caught on anything. And as you can see, it works just perfectly. Another advantage of having the jack line close to the center line is that it's easy to connect the tether to the companionway. This allows you to put the tether on while still in the safety of the companionway. 
Now that I have the lengths where I want them, I will melt the ends and make sure they don't fray, get the sewing kit out, and sew everything together nice and tight for a permanent solution. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you can. I appreciate it. Thank you.